The Cane Mutiny is a 1954 film starring Humphrey Bogart, Jose Farrar, Van Johnson, and Robert Francis, among many others. The film takes place in a naval ship um, where... Uh, Humphrey Bogart is the Captain Quig, and the whole point of the film is to decide if he has gone insane or not. So he is the captain of the ship, like I said, and he is giving out these harsh laws and rules and just speculations and, and different things like that. And so at the end of the film, all of the officers get together and they um, they mutiny him, basically. Uh, and so at the end of the film, he gets court-martialed to prove whether or not is he insane or isn't he. I won't give any um, uh, spoilers or anything because I definitely think you should watch the film and find out for yourself what happens. But I will say this. This is Humphrey Bogart's, in my personal opinion, top-notch best performance because the way he is, he's he's pretty – in the beginning, he's pretty typical of Bogey. You know, he's just very um, – you know, very, yes, we're going to go do that, and we're going to, yeah, but, uh, that might have been more Edward G. Robinson, but I'm sorry, um, he's, he's very, you know, macho man, you know, he's, he's the ship captain and, and all that, but, it, but he's funny, him and, um, Captain, or I'm sorry, uh, Merrick, Van Johnson's character, first mate Merrick, him, their back and forth is very funny, because Merrick doesn't really know what he's doing, and he, you know, kind of is, is the newbie on the, uh, ship and all that and they're back and forth whenever he doesn't understand something and then Bogart will yell at him and it, it, it's very funny and anyway uh but there's this um there there are a couple key scenes that are just very uh they very stand out to me uh one is the end like I, and I won't spoil that at all um but there's this one scene where he they after uh dessert one night um after dinner he determines that there was a, a ration of strawberries that had been stolen or double eaten or whatever it was. And so he, he has one of the crew members um, take sand to account for each scoop of strawberries that was supposedly taken. And it's just very, you're watching him and you're going, who, why, who care, you know, but it's, it's, and of course that's what the, um, the, uh, the rest of the crew's thinking as well. And it's, it's just very, uh, uh, Robert Francis is great in that scene. He's, he's, he's very, he's kind of the comedic, uh, you know, side there, but it's, it's just very great. And it's, it's nice to see, um, just the changes of all the characters as the film progresses and all that, because, you know, at the beginning, they're all this person. And at the end, they're all this person for the most part. Some of them don't change, but most of them do. Um, and it's just, it's very, it's just a very, I think, underrated film overall. And I definitely think it's an underrated um, Humphrey Bogart performance because most people, when you think of Humphrey Bogart, not that I'm discrediting this, but, you know, you think of uh, the Maltese Falcon, the African Queen, Casablanca, you think of those three. And then while they are good films and all that, for me, this is the quintessential Bowie acting film. You know, I'm not saying it's the best movie he's in, but his performance, this is the top notch. And I don't, I believe he was nominated, but didn't win, of course, because he only won for the African Queen, which I think is just criminal. Not that he won for the African Queen, but the fact he didn't win for this. But I think he was up against, now that I'm saying it, Marlon Brando for The Godfather. So maybe that's why he didn't, well, not The Godfather, Marlon Brando for, um, uh, 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 what was the other one he won for? Anyway, he was up against Marlon Brando for the, the other film. So maybe it's one of those things, okay, you can see why that he didn't win. But regardless, it's very, very good. Um, and all the acting is very good. The, the whole movie is very good. And like I said, it's based on a book. I've not read the book, um, but it is a very great film. I highly recommend it. And for me personally, it is Bogey at his best. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time with another video.